Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pranita, and I'll be discussing comparison of PDL1 expression by tumor proportion score and combined proportion score in thyroid carcinomas. So, immunotherapy is a novel tool in the armamentarium against refractory malignancies. Main focus currently being on targeting the PD1 PDL1 axis. Various scoring systems have been used for PDL1 evaluation in different cancers, such as uh, the validated tumor proportion score uh, using SP263 clone for the companion drug pembrolizumab. Similarly, in urothelial cancer, CPS is being used with uh, 22C3 clone for pembrolizumab drug. Uh, application of immunotherapy in thyroid cancer management is currently under investigation. To date, no single scoring system has been recommended for PDL1 assessment in thyroid oncology. Hence, we aim to compare the two immunohistochemical scoring systems, TPS and CPS, for determining the status of PDL1 expression in thyroid carcinomas. The current study is a retrospective study uh, take, uh, from 2015 to 2020. A uh, total of 65 thyroid carcinomas were included, of which uh, 10 were classical PTC, 10 were tall cell PTC, uh, 10 were hormonal PTC. Follicular uh, and poorly differentiated thyroid cancers were also 10 in number. Anaplastic thyroid cancers were 15 in number. Control were tonsil and follicular no uh, nodular uh, disease. Uh, assessing. Tumor immune cell assessment, immune cells present within tumor and within one high power field of tumor border was, were assessed using SP263 uh, immunohistochemistry on Ventana platform. Uh, scoring system uh, TPS was uh, you, uh, done using uh, uh, positive tumor cells to the total number of uh, tumor cells. Uh, CPS was done as positive tumor and immune cells to total number of tumor cells. At least 500 cells were assessed. Uh, a cutoff of more than 1% was considered positive. Uh, tumor cells uh, which were showing only membranous staining were con uh, was, uh, taken into consideration. And in immune cells, both membranous and cytoplasmic staining was considered. And they were divided into uh, four groups uh, uh, depending on the percentage. Uh, statistical analysis was done by using spearman correlation coefficient to compare TPS with CPS. Uh, patient demographics, uh, age range was between uh, 15 to 72 years with a mean age of 44 years and the predominant patient population was female. So of the total 65 cases, 27 cases showed tumor infiltrating immunocells as depicted here, uh, case of FTC showing uh, macrophages and lymphocytes in a case of PTC. Tonsil was used as both positive and negative control with uh, crypt epithelium showing a uh, strong positive staining. Uh, the other pictures are showing patchy positivity uh, in uh, adenomatous goiter, classical PTC and tall cell PTC respectively. Similarly, patchy positivity membranous uh, in uh, hormonal PTC, uh, follicular thyroid, fully uh, differentiated thyroid carcinoma and a diffuse positivity was uh, seen in uh, anaplastic thyroid carcinoma. Uh, so, uh, TPS and CPS were uh, compared in uh, 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 papillary thyroid carcinoma and uh, anaplastic thyroid carcinoma. In both the cases, TPS was comparable to CPS and we have, con and we have taken the whole cohort and cases with which were showing tumor infiltrating immune cells. So, when we have done a spe uh, spearman correlation coefficient, R was 0.9 uh, in both the cases with uh, P value less than 0.001 showing um, high significance and comparability between uh, TPS and CPS in both the instances. Uh, and uh, when uh, TPS was less than 1% uh, and uh, uh, at uh, TPS uh, less than 1%, CPS, ha uh, CPS uh, was uh, uh, also less than 1% in most cases, except for six cases in which it has gone to either uh, less than 5% or 5 to 50%. Uh, when TPS was 1 to 5%, two cases have uh, showed a CPS of 5 to 50%. But when was TPS 5 to 50% or more than 50%, there was no change in uh, CPS. It remained either 5 to 50% or more than 50%. Uh, here I am depicting the change in the uh, TPS and CPS scores. The first case, uh, TPS was 4%, but when we did CPS, it was 7%. 
Similarly, second is a follicular thyroid can cancer case. Here the TPS was less than 1%, but when we performed TPS, it was 32%. Uh, the third case is anaplastic thyroid carcinoma, which showed a TPS of more than 90% and occasional uh, lymphocyte was positive uh, and it was also more than 90%. Uh, similar studies have been carried out in other cancers, but not in thyroid carcinoma. Uh, in lung, uh, TPS and CPS was uh, comparable. Uh, and in head neck uh, squamous cell carcinoma, uh, CPS uh, at a higher cutoff of 50% was comparable, but at lower uh, cutoff, uh, CPS was more sensitive. In the current study, it's a first study to assess comparability of TPS and CPS immunoscoring systems for PDL1 in thyroid carcinoma. Eight of the 32 cases with TPS less than 5% were upscored on uh, CPS. Of, uh, of these, um, six of these had TPS less than 1%, which means they were negative, but on CPS they have become either, uh, they have become more than or equal to 1%, which means they have become positive. Of especially, uh, this is of importance because it included an AT case, ATC case, which had a TPS zero, uh, but, uh, but on CPS it has become 6%. Uh, this is, uh, I would like to emphasize this because uh, we use uh, these cutoffs uh, for therapy to give uh, anti PD1 or PDL1 therapy. Uh, hence, TPS and CPS were comparable irrespective of TPS, but the scores groups remain unchanged for all cases with a TPS of more than 5%. I would like to conclude by saying TPS and CPS are comparable in thyroid cancer, especially in cases with TPS more than equal to 5%. The results indicate that the two scoring systems can be used interchangeably. However, clinical trials are needed to establish cutoffs for responsiveness to immunotherapy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pranita. And the papers open for questions and discussion. So my question is related to your inclusion criteria. You took uh, samples from uh, 2015 to 20 and you included 65 tumors. So what were your inclusion criteria? How did you select your cases? Mom, uh, we have taken dissection specimens uh, from... Uh, uh, so now it's part of my thesis. We have, uh, we have a fixed number of cases. Uh, uh, an equal to 10 in each category. Uh, and we have included all ATC cases because they were rare. Uh, whatever ATC cases we could find in the given time period, we have taken. Resection specimens were taken and uh, in which... Um, so my basic question is, how did you select your 30 PTC cases from a five-year data? Were they consecutive? Yes, yes, ma'am. So then you will have included only in 15 and 16 because in... As far as I understand, in All India Institute, you must be having a large number of thyroid tumors which must be operated. Yes. So, yes. how did you select? That is the basic question. Sixty-five patients. Uh, PTC we have uh, taken consecutively, uh, with, starting with the current year of 2019. Uh, in it was the year in which I have started my study, ma'am. And uh, Hognail and uh, Tolsell PTC. Uh, they were rare, and the number of cases were less, ma'am. So we had to go back. Uh, till 2015 to get a number of 10 cases. Okay, so that I think that is uh, that makes the data a little skewed because you need to have consecutive, even if you're seeing typing, yes, you need yes, to, if you have to start either from 2020 to 15 backwards, or you start from 15 to 20, but then you should know what were the, how, where did you stop consecutively? You cannot select up cases and take up. That is the only point. Random selection, Random selection is difficult in such type of studies. That no, ma'am, we took consecutive only, but we had to go till 2015 only because of the rarity of uh, hobnail, tall cell, okay. and ATC. The other question was related to, because in PTC, we generally have a mixture of typing. So you have areas where you can, even in tall cell variants, you may have areas of the classical papillary type and you also have areas where you have the tall cell variant. So were there any differences in this staining in these two type of areas? What was your observation? Uh, ma, uh, in uh, papillary thyroid carcinoma, it was always patchy. Uh, it, even if it was tall cell morphology or classical morphology, even in the same case also, it was always patchy. So, for example, you have a tumor which has tall cell and which has classical areas. So, did you find staining for PDL1 in both of these areas or 
selectively tall cell area is not in the classical that will be of importance because tall cell as which we know that it is prognostically associated with the yes. poorer uh, yes ma'am uh, if it was a uh, if it if it had both tall cell and classical uh, morphology we found staining both in classical ptc and tall cell ptc i think that uh, that is an important point to make and whether it, it was significant 